And we are back. Last time I was here, I was in the pause menu. I was on this hill about to attack this angry mob, and by attack I mean just walk in and see what happens because it looks like a cutscene is about to play. My name is Cassius Kid, and this is Horizon Zero Dawn. <gasps> Deep breath. Okay, we're back. Oh, that was awesome. I'm the best. I'm the best. Let's see what's going on up here. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. Only two? It is time really? to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance hold your fruit! Hold your fruit! Oh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Hold your fruit. Azaram, not Karja. <laughs> Are you from Boston, dude? Holy shit. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? I guess I'll hold my fruit. Right, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. It's for the gods to judge the card, not me. The past should be the past. What's that mean? Everyone's acting like these cursed Karja are honored guests. It's called a focus? How do you know what it's called? You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. <sighs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Mm, I don't like that you're face, dude. Delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll, I'll come back. Mm, that was Wait. suspicious. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. That dude got hella, Whoa. hella chest here. Oh, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. I immediately don't like him. As you. for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. I That's already great, don't I mean. like you. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've I never seen her. armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. We'll see about that. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. Whoa. <laughs> With all that metal to That's slow you creepy. down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. We'll see about that. I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. 
But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Sure. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? I mean, were you kept hidden away? Did you yes, have exactly. parents or something? Dum dum. I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh. Yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel. It's pretty cruel. Me. Yeah, it's awful. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. Yeah, no, I heard. Thanks. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. I want to know about this uh, rampancy thing going on. Yeah, I feel like I don't have to tell you that, right? First, I've heard of it. Oh, well, sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at it. Well, yeah, you're attacking an animal. The fuck else is supposed to happen? more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. Well, they're the learning to not get fucked up. Entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner. And heavily armed. I need some questions. I have some, I have some, ass. I have some questions yeah, about that. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. Okay, shit can't just start showing up. Machines so, can't just start showing up. People have to create them, unless it's a program creating so them. what's making it happen? And no one knows. Really? And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Really? That's really hard to believe, because somebody, somebody, was taken captive and picked one of those apart and figured it out. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Mm, sounds like you want to bang, sir. Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Mm. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Easy peasy. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Look, take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I can't wait to stand next to, to see this Meridian place because it sounds like a fucking just metropolis. How big is Meridian? What's it like? Bigger than this dick! Do I even start? Wait, what? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge, or an invitation. To suck this dick! Okay, that's enough. Tell me about the derangement again. Oh. Well, the way I hear it, fifth right, when a right, hunter right, kicked right. it was yeah, hidden yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, few more, yeah. but that wasn't bad enough. Like yeah. the sawtooth. Yeah. Ten yeah. So what's making yeah. no one uh -huh. Sure. Okay. I don't know why that so was still lit what up. Happened? I might How cut all this all out. End? We'll see. The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Well, that sounds like that's where dad's gonna be. Dad. <laughs> Fucking Asaram. Rost. Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. 
So absolutely and nothing. Awesome. Booters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, mercenaries. No, warriors for pay. Warriors. This, game, this dude is definitely from Boston. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. All right, that's enough. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Owen? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Sounds kind of jealous. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? Wants to bang, dude. You know what? Wants to bone right, down if real good. visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show oh, you yeah. around, make introductions. Yeah. it will be a whole new bet life you will. if you want it. Anyway, I, I bet you will. blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? That dude definitely wants to bone down. All right, more running. All right, I'm so excited about the running. Or maybe not. Oh, it's so far away. Why is it? Why is it so far away? God damn! All right, never mind. Turning around. What the hell are they all looking at? Oh. Uh, I guess that explains the tentacles. Huh. The fuck are you crazy people doing? All are in place. Do you mind? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. That's Rasta's mother, I bet. Sisters, aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her oh, honor, there's that fucking asshole. Oh, I can't wait to kick your ass. I'm so excited. Fuck this little kid. In honor of Rost. You don't know your mother, so I'm going to pay for Pray for my old man. Because I'm pretty sure he's either dead oh, or on his mother, way to Meridian right now. Hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. All right, so these are definitely gonna catch fire in the forest. I'm looking forward to that. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Talk to Olin. The brew's getting better than last year. That's the mother. Okay, I hate when there are two waypoints on the thing because it just fucks with me so much. Was on a side quest? Huh. That's interesting. Oh, okay. I guess he's inside the Hunter's Lounge. I think? No. Oh, this is confusing. Move! Just get out of the way. Hey, there he is. The, the waypoints on this in this game are so confusing. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Good guess. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. She is redhead. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. 
Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. Well, you don't have to sound so bitter so about it, sport? Jesus. Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. You are rude, sir. When we I am being nothing but polite. Lived, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Yes. Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. You don't gotta be a dick, dude. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. I don't believe you that. Should try to enjoy yourself tonight. Oh, you're shady as hell. Day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Mm. That's suspicious. That's hella fucking suspicious. Okay. Well, I guess before I go do that, I might as well just end this off here. <laughs> More exposition and story progress. Ho. Oh. Um, so I think that's where I'm gonna end off again, actually. So thanks for sticking around for, for no action whatsoever for my commentary and story progress. Until next time, farewell.